Hey folks, this is Abdul from AllAboutAndroids.com and uh, today I'm running CM10 on the HTC uh, Sensation. So CM10 has been out for quite some time for this phone. I, I wanted to do a video today because it's more stable, it's, it's more usable now. Uh, before the early builds, they had uh, wake lock issues and a lot more issues uh, like uh, camera not working. So now it's more stable, it's more usable. The one I'm running right now is the August 18th uh, build and uh, it's still a beta, it's not uh, official yet so it still does have bugs but it's much better. You could use it as your daily driver. Uh, it does come with the latest Android version 4.1.1 and the kernel that I have is the Tamcore kernel. I got this from the um, Tamcore website, I'll post a link below, it's the latest uh, kernel and it was also released on uh, today August uh, 18th and yeah let's get into the ROM okay so some new things about this one from for example last week so the week before that is uh, camera works so I'm just gonna go to camera here and autofocus or touch to focus works um, before what would happen is when you start the camera the orientation would be 90 degrees flipped and uh, it would just be a mess so there was a fix for that and what the fix did was mirror the image so even though you would be seeing straight it wouldn't be 90 degrees it'd be mirrored and be very confusing to use so that's been fixed the front camera right here is still broken this is because uh, of missing drivers so well hopefully in the future that will be fixed and uh, yeah camcorder also works it's just it's not very clear it's somewhat blurry and it it still works though uh, now there is another issue with this ROM where um, this version the August 18th version if you try to play a YouTube video you would just get a black screen and um, just with sound and black screen this is because of uh, missing media files uh, there is a fix for this I'll show you in a minute and also uh, any video you try to play say on MX player or anything it'll just come out black with audio so in order to fix it uh, just uh, look at the link down below there's a uh, so you have to download the uh, media file it's an XML fight uh, file but it's um, in zip right now that's the only way the uh, develop developer could upload it so now in order to fix this issue, what you have to do is uh, place an SD card, then download an application that has a uh, root permission such as uh, Root Explorer, that's what I downloaded. And what you need to do is, let me just get to the file one moment. This is my root, I'm gonna go to SD card, and now I'm going to Media M, as soon as I can find it. So this is the file media codex xml.zip. So what you want to do is copy this and go back to your root folder. Not this, but to root. And what you need to find is system and then etc, etc. Which is right here. And just paste it here. I've already pasted it. So if I go down to M, so there it is for me. And what you need to do is take this file and rename it. So I re rename it anything. I wrote, uh, I renamed it to .bac. And what you need to do is for this file, you need to paste it. When pasting it, just make sure. Oh. Just give it a minute here. Okay, just crashed. This is probably because of Jelly Bean. I'm just gonna go back. Just give me one moment. Okay, so I'm just gonna head back, Root Explorer. Okay, so now I'm going to act like I copied it. I'm going to system etc. Okay, so going down to media. Okay, so the first thing is rename this file, media codex XML. Okay, so I just renamed it back. Second thing, paste this, 
Oh, actually, second thing is you have to click up here or press up here. Whatever works for yours. Right now it's in read and write mode. Press here so it's in. Oh, sorry, it's in read only mode. Pressing here will make it in read write. That's the only way you paste it. Just paste it in this folder, and then what you need to do is fix the permissions. So just hold it down. Permissions. This is the permissions that you need. So owner has to have read write group is read and others is read. Once you have the permissions down, just change the file name to .xml and then reboot the phone. All right, so then what will happen is YouTube will work in HQ mode for some reason. It doesn't work with, so if I take off HQ mode, you'll, I'll just get a black screen with sound. But uh, turning HQ mode on, it will work. Okay, so same with uh, videos on MX player, they will work now. And uh, yeah, so there are still some other issues. Bluetooth pairing doesn't work. I tried to, I tried to pair this phone with my tablet. That didn't work. And uh, Wi-Fi tethering still doesn't work. So I'm guessing Bluetooth tethering isn't gonna work either. Um, that's about it, though. Everything else works. It's really, really smooth. It's it's gonna be okay. You know, you could use it as a daily driver as long as you don't have to tether. Um, so signals, you know, Wi-Fi signal, everything works real great. You can overclock it. Just, you know, it has all the CyanogenMod mod features that you would like, such as, uh, where is this, uh, such as profiles, so I've got those, and developer options, performance. So it, overall, it's, it's a nice ROM, you know, it, it's being worked on every week, so I, I really like it. Uh, you should give it a try if you want Jelly Bean on your phone. So this has been Abdul from AllAboutAndroids.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Also add us on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks.